unmarked car with lights and sirens pulls up behind you in traffic. What do you do? One frightened driver called 911. And tonight we learned that is exactly what you should do. KXAN lead investigator Brian Collister has uncovered a traffic stop that raises questions about why and how the officer pulled the driver over. Round Rock police rushed to a call for help. A driver talking to a 911 operator says someone is trying to pull him over. It's a white pickup truck, and the guy's wearing a suit. And he brake checked me, and I went around him on the right side, gave him the finger, and he turned all these lights and sirens on. Moments later, before officers arrive, the man following the driver points a gun at him as he sits in his car. Do you have your ID with you, and then we're going to move up in this yes, parking lot and get this ID. figured out. The officer figures out the man who pulled the gun is Texas Ranger Michael Smith driving an unmarked DPS pickup. Driver David Van Curen is fuming and wants to talk to the Ranger's boss. I want the director of DPS down here to talk to this guy. He doesn't he deserve to be doing that. And then when I ask him who he is, he, all I see is a gun shaking and I'm like this. So what happened? Ranger Smith claims Van Curen almost crashed into his truck as traffic slowed. Goes around me, flies around me real fast, okay? Shoots me the bird, okay. and this is my truck. Get out of the truck, I demand to get out, okay? He puts the car in reverse. I draw my gun. Ranger Smith tells the investigating officer he got out of his truck to talk to the driver and only pulled his gun after feeling his life was in jeopardy. His truck has no dash cam, so it's the ranger's word against the driver in this incident last February. But KXAN has also obtained evidence Ranger Smith was not exactly telling the truth about exactly when he pulled his pistol. Listen to this crucial part of the 911 call. He's getting out of the car now. He's got his gun drawn and he has no bed. What the f What are you at the scene, Ranger Smith also backs off his claim the motorist almost crashed into him. Tell me what you want, Bill. Man, I want him cited, but there's nothing good to cite for. Besides, yeah. Yeah. good cited for. Yeah. You know, he didn't strike my vehicle. I took a little base back to the mission. Okay. Did he cross the center line when he did that? I don't think he did, no. Okay. As for the driver who did not respond to our requests for comment, he got off without a ticket. At what point did you realize that this guy was an officer? When he was right next to my window with his gun in my face. And I said, are you crazy? Who are you? Okay. And he said, oh, but DPS ranger. And I'm like. In an emailed statement, DPS says, quote, our employee acted inconsistent with policy, exercised poor judgment, and conducted himself in an unprofessional and discourteous manner, all of which are unacceptable. The department has taken corrective action with this employee regarding the policy infractions. DPS did not respond to questions about the truthfulness of Ranger Smith's account of exactly when he pulled his weapon. Now, what are you supposed to do if a car pulls up behind you that's unmarked and tries to pull you over? Do exactly what this driver did. Call 911 to verify it is a law enforcement officer. Brian Collister, KXAN, investigates. While that Texas Ranger was not an impersonator, earlier this year, a man impersonating police tried to pull over a woman in the Kyle area at least three different times. And last October, police issued an arrest warrant for this man who pulled over two school buses in Austin. We checked today, and so far there is no new information on either case.